there was plenty to appreciate on day 11 at the games. A Norwegian whiz and a German juggernaut obliterating their own world records. And a courageous champ back where she belongs. Welcome to your Daily Review Tokyo. In one of the performances of the game so far, Norway's Karsten Vorholm ran a scintillating 45.94 seconds to claim gold in the men's 400-meter hurdles, smashing his own world record from barely a month ago, as six of the eight runners in the final broke either world, continent, or national marks. The pressure is tough. And uh, you know it wasn't it wasn't easy sleeping last night, and I hope you know the other guys felt the same. But uh, if if you can if you can handle it, I think that gives you a lot of positive energy that you can put into a great performance, and I think that's what we saw today. Sweden's Armand Duplantis came agonizingly close to breaking his own world record in the men's pole vault, cruising to the gold medal with a jump of 6.02 meters before three failed attempts at posting a new world-leading mark of 6.19 meters. In other athletic results, Elaine thompson hera joined Usain Bolt as the only athletes to clinch the 100-200 meter double in consecutive games. And 19-year-old Athing Mu became America's first women's 800 meter champion in 53 years. All eyes were on Simone Biles as the American gymnast made her only appearance in an individual event in the women's balance beam final. Having taken no part in the four other individual gymnastic event finals, Biles claimed bronze in the balance beam. 16-year-old Guan Chen Chen of China won the gold, with compatriot Tang Zhijing earning silver. In men's gymnastics, there was more gold for China as Zhu Jingwan took out the parallel bars. While in the horizontal bar, Japan's Daiki Hasamoto won his second Tokyo gold. If she wasn't already, New Zealand's Lisa Carrington is officially the queen of canoe sprint. Winning her third consecutive Olympic gold medal in the K1 200 meter final in an Olympic best time of 38.120 seconds, before adding another gold alongside Caitlin Regal in the K2 500 meter final. In the men's canoe sprint, Cuba claimed gold in the C2 1000 meter final while in the K1 1,000 meters, the gold medal went to Hungary's Berlint Kopaz. It was another record-breaking day in the velodrome, as Germany broke the women's team pursuit world record for the third time in Tokyo on their way to the gold medal. After breaking the world record in qualifying and again in the first round, the Germans took almost two seconds off their own mark to blitz Great Britain in the final. The United States claimed bronze by beating Canada. Meanwhile, in the men's team sprint, the Netherlands set an Olympic record of 41.369 seconds to beat Great Britain, as France finished third by seeing off Australia in the bronze medal final. In other results, Germany's Malaika Mahambo is now a world and Olympic champion after claiming gold in the women's long jump. While Polish world record holder Anita Vladacic took out the women's hammer throw. In boxing, Japan's Senarai Ri claimed gold in the women's featherweight final and Roniel Iglesias of Cuba won the men's welterweight. China's Xi Si won his second gold of the games in the men's three-meter springboard. Helping China extend its lead atop the medal tally with 32 golds, eight better than second-placed United States. Join us again tomorrow on the Daily Review Tokyo.